Hello and welcome to a special GCSE revision video. In this video we're going to be asking a question on algebraic fractions. I've been asked by a viewer to do just this. So here goes. Okay, so in this question we are asked to simplify x squared minus 1 over 4x squared minus 25 all divided by x plus 1 over 2x plus 5. Okay, good luck with that. Take your time, pause the video, and I'll be ready with the answer when you press play. Okay, so how did you get on with that question? So what we're asked is x squared minus 1 over 4x squared minus 25 divided by x plus 1 over 2x plus 5. So as with any division uh, of fractions, we just invert and multiply. So this is basically all of this. And instead of division, it's multiply. And this then becomes the numerator. Oops, I should really copy that. So this denominator then becomes a numerator, and the numerator becomes a denominator. And then it's just a straightforward. Uh, multiplication. So this is x squared minus 1 times 2x plus 5 all over 4x squared minus 25 multiplied by x plus 1. And here's where you can get into trouble. If you start multiplying these out now, you're going to end up with cubic polynomials. So before we try to expand out these, let's just factorize what can be factorized and look to see once we've got these down into prime factors, are there any prime factors that can be cancelled out before we worry about expanding out the brackets? Well, x squared minus 1, that's the difference of two squared, so that's just x minus 1 into x plus 1. Into 2x plus 5. And that's over, again, 4x squared minus 25, that's the difference of two squares. 4 is a square number, x squared is a perfect square, and 25 is a perfect square. So this is just 2x minus 5 into 2x plus 5. into x plus 1. Okay, so now we've got everything broken down into prime factors. Are there anything that we can cancel? Well, we've got a 2x plus 5 here and a 2x plus 5 here. And we've got an x plus 1 here and we've got an x plus 1 here. So this whole thing actually simplifies to just x minus 1 over 2x minus 5. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. Uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Definitely hit that like button if you want to see more questions like this. Uh, use the comments section if you have any suggestions for other GCSE maths related videos you would like me to do. And use the subscribe button if you want to see if you want to be notified when the um, videos are uploaded. 
Okay, if you're taking your GCSEs this year, I'd like to wish you all the best with your revision and all the best with your exams. And I look forward to seeing you in another video.